Hey everyone, my name is Alicia and today we're going to run descriptive statistics on, in Julius on my data set. So I made a random data set in Julius actually for us to run statistics on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're bring in our data set. And I always say preview data set and give a rundown on the variables. So the reason why we're running descriptive t statistics on our data set is to get an idea on how it's set up and also some of the values that we need. It looks like it also gave me a, a summary of my statistics of the data set, which is great. So we can see that it has brought in my data set and then it gave me my count mean standard deviation, the minimum, the 25, 50 and 75% quartiles. Gave me a little bit more information on the range, so 100 entries, 0 to 99. The columns that we have, the data types was float, integer, and object. And I guess it also gave me memory usage. And it also gave me a rundown of the variables. So another thing that I wanted to actually tell me too is I tend to like to have everything brought in like this because then it gives me a general overview of what my data looks like. So once I get this, so the confidence interval, my standard error, and my other central tendencies. Then I will move on to the next analysis that we can do on our data set. Cool. So I did it for each one. So my, here's my mean, my medium mode, standard error for each of them. So I'm also going to ask it to put it in a, ch in a table so I can have everything within a nice table. Can So this is going to let me know and also see all of my data set in the descriptive statistics in a nice table. So I just like this. This is just like a little housekeeping thing for me so I can go back and forth and really like visualize my data within that table. It keeps it neat and clean. Um, I also wanted to give um, output of my data so that I can also look and really read for each column what exactly is going on. So then it does this for the rest of my data set and I can also download the detailed descriptive statistics summary here. So if when I click on this, it should bring up my descriptive statistics. So I like that, that's a great visualization. I can also ask it if it wants this to explore different trends. I, but for right now, I just wanna have a histogram. So, and also I would like it to see if there are any outliers. So we'll do the outliers first. And then I'll do a histogram because I want to see how my data set is distributed. Because if it's a non-normal distribution, we're going to be looking more at non-parametric tests versus if it was a normal distribution, it would be a parametric test. Okay, so it looks like we don't have any kind of issue. There are no outliers. So I have box plot for age, height, weight and income. So if there were any outliers, you'd see dots on the outside of this. And even Julius even confirms that there's no significant outliers and even gives you the re results of the outlier detection. So after the box plot visualization showing us that there is no outliers here for each of our variables, I'm going to ask Julius if we can create a histogram for each of our variables to tell us what kind of distribution it may have, just having a visual inspection. After that, I'm going to run Shapiro-Wilkes normalcy test to see what our p-values are. So let's do So hopefully it also places a trend line on these histograms so they can kind of see how each data set is distributed. So it looks like taking a quick glance at this that they're probably going to be non-normally distributed. So let's do, can you run a normal C?
So now I'm going to prompt Julius to run a normalcy test, like I mentioned earlier. So let's see. So it did take the Shapiro Wilk test for normality. And it's going to look at age, height, weight, and income, each how we looked at for our histogram. And let's see what the resulting p value is for them. Okay, so each variable is non normally distributed, which means that we're going to have to use non parametric tests in order to run any statistical analysis with this data set. So it even tells you the interpretation down here that we're, we're going to reject the null hypothesis that's saying the data set is normal, normally distributed. And now we can perform a statistical analysis on this data set. So I hope you enjoyed my little video on how to go over or run descriptive statistics in Julius. And I hope you enjoy your time with Julius in running descriptive statistics.